Hello, Old School Gamer 1971 here, greetings one and all, especially to you, Millie and Lloyd. Today my third hour thoughts is on Inside. I've been playing this game for around 3 hours and this is what I think. Inside by Playdead is a 2D platformer that came to the PlayStation 4 in 2016. Does this be a sequel? Yes, yes it is. It is a sequel to Limbo, kind of. It's a spiritual successor for definite. The gameplay is very reminiscent of Limbo. Apparently some of the different mechanics were originally supposed to have been in Limbo. But due to the different reasons, mm, guessing time and money, they were removed. So let's have a look at the developer's rap sheet. This is unfortunately Playdead's second and last title. It's a shame as their game showed such promise. This game uses the same game engine as Limbo. And whilst it may be their last, they did go out on a high. However, there is a bit of light at the end of the tunnel. One of the former developers again shows promise in a title being called Somerville. Limbo seems to revitalise the genre by taking it somewhere it had never been before. Which if you look at games that were released after Limbo, both in gameplay and art style it seems to have been replicated quite a few times. I'm going to tell you a story. This is pretty much up to your interpretation from the beginning standpoint. You are being chased by dark dressed persons and guard dogs with terminal fervour. You have no voiceover, nor written words, not even facial expressions. I have to say I was surprised by how well it all works and it does leave you wanting to know what the hell is going on. Having played Limbo, I hope it follows suit. Does lightning strike twice for play dead? So is the game a inside game or is it a backside game? Okay, is it a looker or a bit of a munter? This is a very different style to Limbo, but it's still damn good. The original was monotone and this might have colour, but it's just a different kind of dark. And then we get to the underwater bit in the submarine. It looks so damn good. It's responsive in movement and certainly a welcome addition to solid gameplay. No, it's not a AAA, but it is a good indie title. And if you're a fan of Metrovania, then this is a really good game. Mainly because it doesn't look like anything else out there. The shadows and lighting are spot on and set the mood. This is a big thing towards the atmosphere. Some of the imagery reminds me of old sci-fi dystopian future, you know, 1984-esque. So is this a head bopper, a toe tapper? And once again, this is good, the sound keeps pace with the game. This helps with the atmosphere no end. The music, ambient sound, even the dog barking helped so much. I've played this a little before, so I knew what to expect. I like how the sound sometimes goes minimal. It emphasises a singular sound, engines, dogs, etc. This game is a more advanced version of Limbo. It is obvious that they learned from the first game, what worked and what didn't. The game shows that sometimes it is worth concentrating on your strengths and not worrying so much about your weaknesses. How does this bad boy play? 
So within the game seemingly without a plot, the gameplay's importance is amplified. It has to be good. Fortunately this is really good here. There has been many advancements to the game engine. Like the Limbo game, you will die often. However, I do find that the gameplay is a lot more forgiving. This is good as sometimes Limbo could become quite infuriating. That is not to say that inside is easier, just that it gives you a little more rope to hang yourself with. I like how the mind control puzzles sometimes can be a pain, and did spend a little bit of time on the shockwaves taking me out, but it normally is clever when you do work it out, and sometimes you feel really really dumb for not working it out sooner. Does the atmosphere hit you full force in the face? This is really good. It is the just one more go and that I've done that kind of atmosphere. As well not knowing the story or why it is happening. To be honest this is the longest that I have played this game for. And with what comes later I might like this more than Limbo. When I started I would not have guessed that. This is just a little more than Limbo. It is good to see a game that you don't want to put down. A game that has puzzles, that has you use your brain to work it out. A couple of times I've groaned and rolled my eyes into my head when I worked it out. I like this as it does feel really, really rewarding. So does this warm my cockles after 3 hours? Yep. This game is an improvement in every way from graphics to sound to gameplay. It has tighter controls and shows a lot more imagination. As well I did question the lack of story at first. This is just after all being chased. I am happy however to report it works out really well really. There are other games out there like this. One reviewed earlier this week, Hollow Knight. But here we say farewell to Play Dead. I am pleased to have reviewed their catalogue of games and hope that I have introduced at least one person to this great developer. Which is unfortunate, but for me at least, the two games released were memorable. So inside it is. So that about wraps it up, hope you all have a really good day. If this has been helpful in any way, please like, comment, share and subscribe as it helps the channel grow and makes an old man very happy. I post new videos every week. Please let me know what you think down below in the comments. Old School Gamer 1971 signing off.